All right, what's up guys? This is Spooky and we're back with uh, part three of Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Anyway, in the last part, uh, we went, we undertook some preparations to help us out in this upcoming palace, Palace 2, which is my Dora Palace. First off, we got a couple new spells, the Jump Spell and the Life Spell, both are going to help us out a lot. We also got an extra life and we got uh, one more level in attack, so that's good. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, and you can do this at pretty much all the palaces except Palace 1, is I'm going to strike the statue here at the beginning and um usually they drop a potion when you do that sometimes it becomes an enemy instead but you can always exit and come back in to do the same thing so now i'm gonna use this and restore my health there you go got most of my magic back now we're gonna get started so um before we can really proceed in this dungeon there's a couple of locked doors we need to get past so i'm gonna head all the way to the bottom and pick up some keys This dungeon is, is much longer than the previous one. Has some tougher enemies also. This guy looks like something out of like Sesame Street. I don't get what he's supposed to be. Creepy, that's what he is. Here's another one. You can see already I lost a lot of health. That life spell is definitely going to be putting in some work. You know, we got one key, but there's one more in nearby. And up we go. So, um, while we're waiting, I want to talk about uh, the Japanese version of this game versus the US version. And that's that, um, this is a game where, not something that happens too often, but this is a game where for the American release, they made some improvements. One of the big changes is to the music, the dungeon theme and the boss theme, both especially are much different. The experience system was also, also overhauled um, in the original Zelda, it took the exact same amount of experience to get level for each ability versus in this one it's been tweaked uh the sword level ups tend to cost the most while the life level ups tend to be the cheapest a couple other things were tweaked as well some bosses were changed around a lot of other differences actually uh, pretty interesting if you look around on youtube there's some guys that have some videos uh, detailing more of the differences But yeah, the American version is uh, generally considered uh, superior to the Japanese version of this game. Anyway, we got two keys now, so let's go open some doors. These skeletons uh, are more annoying now. They try to jump at you. Much more aggressive than they were in the first palace. So are these enemies, as you can see. Everything's trying to get me. Let's get some magic back. A little bit more and we can uh, refill our health again. So in this area, I'm going to be really careful. I don't want to jump uh, onto one of these guys and die. Oh, we got another key. Alright, on we go. Once in a while, these drop uh, blue drops that actually turn into enemies. A oh, key bag, I like that. We're very close to a level. This iron knuckle. Oh, I think we get a life refill here. Yeah, or a magic refill, excuse me. So I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Get the potion and abuse it to maximize uh, the refill. Alright, next up we want to go this way. We 
get a level in magic. Why not? We've been using the light spell a lot. We have some uh, bricks that fall on me. Uh, I can't really destroy these bricks or anything, so once they start stacking up like this, pretty much I'm stuck. We have a, a red iron knuckle. These guys have more health. I think they do a little more damage also, but you can still defeat them the same way, just confuse them by jumping. we get uh, the handy <laughs> handy glove as the item name is and you'll see what that does in just a second I'm gonna try to get this experience bag here oh, there we go so the handy glove allows us to destroy uh, these harder bricks to pass through and um, it gives us access to some areas that are otherwise impassable here in the dungeon. Also will be useful later, other dungeons also have a lot of those um, heavy bricks that we'll need to break through to proceed further. Whoa. Almost got toasted. Tried to get the drop on me. Anyway. Oh, we got another pee bag. That's great. That's a lot of experience. There you go. Here's some of these bricks that we need the glove for. Yeah, you can see how the dungeons get uh, more and more annoying as you go. Thankfully, those little projectiles they shoot uh, don't do a lot of damage. We are going to have to use a light spell soon. Oh, there's a refill. That helps. Alright, so um, we're going to go this way first. We do want to go uh, down there south eventually, but we need some more keys before that. Nothing from the statue. But we're doing pretty good, still on our first life. And we're near completion of the dungeon. We're about to get another level also. If we stack our levels right, we should get a lot when we complete this one. We'll definitely get another one. There's a pee bag here. It's a little tricky to get, but I'll show you the easiest way. And that's to break everything. So that you can easily get to it. And we get a life up. That's good. And there you go. Now we can proceed further. Cool. Anyway, we're almost to the end of the dungeon. We got a refill, good timing. Gonna use that to refill my health before the boss. Alright, and this is the boss area, so we're gonna have um, our second boss. So I'm gonna use the shield spell here to help me out. Here we go. Sky. It's really annoying. You knock off the heads and they fly at you. 
They also throw uh, more projectiles. Thankfully, these projectiles are all blockable with your shield. There are some projectiles later that you'll find are not so easy to stop. Look at that, they're trying to get me. Got him. Alright, and that's the second boss. So, grab the key, and we're in there. So we still get a pretty good uh, bonus from the statue over uh, 500 experience, why not? Let's clear it now. Oh, and we get another attack bonus, that's great. So now we have um, attack power of 4. And that's it for palace number 2. Um, so we do have one new item, the uh, glove that we acquired, and we also completed a second palace, so that's good. Let's get out of this marsh area and talk about what to do next. The marshes are so irritating because you move so slow. Almost out. There we go, we made it. Great. Up used the road. Now, um, we want to go further east here, but we can't because the road here is blocked, of course, by this giant rock. There is one other way to get east, and that's uh, by traveling across Saria, but as we found, um, the guardian there would not let us cross. So we're going to go here and search around this forest. As it turns out, there's something here that's going to help us out. Here it is. So here we have uh, this guy Bagu, um, who is an ex-resident, I guess, of Saria. And he says, "Show my note to Riverman." All right, let's do that. So back to Saria we go. So if you look uh, further south there, you'll notice there's a little cave there, um, and that's where we want to go. So we're going to see if the river man will let us across now. Nothing else we really need in this town. Uh, I'm just going to use the light spell and take this magic refill. Oh, did you see that? I glitched out. That was cool. I'm still glitched. <laughs> Alright. Anyway, here we go. So here's the Guardian. Alright. Oh, cool. And he opens the bridge for us. Now we can cross the other side. There you go. So, this area south here actually leads to Death Mountain, which is um, unfortunately the only way for us to get uh, to the east part of the map, which we really need to go to to continue on. That's where we're going to find Palace Number 3. So, like it or not, we have to go this way, but this is a very tough area with a whole huge maze, so there's a lot of work involved, but anyway, that'll be in the next part of Let's Play Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and when we return, we're going to fight our way through Death Mountain and see what we can find and see if we can get across to the east side of the world, which is otherwise blocked. Anyway, see you guys all soon.